Hey guys, MD here with Outdoor Reviews. Uh, today we're going to be making some cowboy smoked beef stew. Uh, we're going to do it in the Dutch oven again. Uh, these videos seem to be doing well, so I'll give you guys what you want. Uh, I'm gonna, first I'm going to use this Dutch oven kind of like a frying pan. And we're heating it up right now from just the bottom and we're going to use a lot of coals to get it nice and hot. And then we'll brown up the steak. So we got this uh, the oven nice and hot on the bottom, so we're going to go ahead and just pour in the beef. Uh, for this, you can use any type of uh, cheap steak you get. This is just some round top. Um, it's very cheap, uh, thin slice steak, and then I just kind of cut it up with some cubes. And because we're going to slow cook this, so it's going to tenderize on its own. Just stir it up here. This is my pan carved spatula. I have a piece of firewood that I had the other day. And if you're going to do some Dutch oven cooking, you might as well have your own little rustic uh, spatula to stir your food with. And we'll just go ahead and brown this up. And let me go get some onions to add in there as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to let this kind of brown down a little bit. And we'll add some butter and some flour. We'll make a roux. And then we'll add the rest of our vegetables. And we'll let it stew up for uh, two, three hours. And we'll just change the coals every hour. So let me go ahead and grab some onions real quick and we'll add those in. I uh, have about two onions. And the amount you put in here is just uh, depending on the size you want uh, of the meal you want, uh, how big your family is, how many people you're going to be feeding. We, we have uh, five of us, and uh, this little 10 inch Dutch oven seems to work well for us for a meal, and it leaves leftovers for the next day as well. So I'll go ahead and get this uh, cooked down, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to create the roux. All right, so we've got some good juices going on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the butter so we can create the roux to make the good sauce for the, the stew here. Um, about a half a stick will do. You don't need to add too much. And we'll let that melt down here in a second. I'll add some flour into it and stir it up and we'll get it going. All right, so the butter's all melted. We'll go ahead and just add in a little bit of uh, flour here. Not much, but there you go. That's probably about, let's say, two tablespoons, if that. And we'll stir that in to thicken up the sauce, and this will start to give it its a, almost like a gravy, but you know, stew's got like a little thicker juice to it, and this is just something that we do a little differently. But we'll let that start to thicken up. And give it a few minutes and I'll start adding, adding the rest of the ingredients. Okay, it's it's set up pretty good now. So we'll go ahead and add uh, about a tablespoon of uh, chopped garlic. As you can see right here. I'll add that in there. And I'll stir that in. And then, this is just getting our gravy of flavor that we want. And as you heard me in the beginning, it's a cowboy smoked beef stew. And I cheat <laughs> when I for this. If I if I was uh, smoking the beef beforehand, I'd usually use some uh, leftover uh, beef brisket that I smoked. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some liquid smoke, and I'll just put in just a little bit. That's a lot of bit, sorry. But uh, and we'll let that get in there, and that'll give us a nice smoky flavor to our beef and our our stew. We'll mix that in real well. And then we'll go ahead and add in our potatoes and our carrots and our tomatoes here in a minute. All right, we're ready for our potatoes now. And I think we cut up a few too many uh, vegetables today, but that's okay. I'll make sure we have lots of potatoes because that's always a good base to have in your, in your stew. And I will add the carrots in right now as well. And that's what I might cut back on. Might not use as many, but we have a bunch prepared. So I'll go ahead and add those. That's about enough right there. And the tomatoes as well. And I'm just going to use a can of uh, diced tomatoes. You can use fresh. I'm just saving time tonight. And we'll, we'll leave that in there. Well, as you can see, uh, we're packed to the rim here, so I'm going to go ahead and throw my top on, <clears throat> and 
I still have a good coal base on the bottom. I'll swap that out here in a minute. But let me go ahead and throw the coals up on top. I've got some uh, hardwood coals. I like these. I didn't have any the other day. I've been using uh, the Kingsford stuff for what I had. But this will do. These is what I prefer to have. And I picked some up today, so it'll be good. I'll go ahead and put that one that I dropped in there right on top. And uh, these burn a lot faster than uh, regular charcoal briquettes. But I don't know why. I just I like using them. They're a little bit cheaper. And uh, it smells like campfire when, you, when you're burning them. So I'll go ahead and leave this for about an hour. And I'll come back and change out the coals. I'll get them in the chute again here in about you know 40 minutes to get them nice and hot. And I'll swap them out. This will take about two and a half to three hours to cook. And... We'll check with you later. All right, we're doing a cold change right now, so this is a good time to um, stir it up and add a little bit of seasonings. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to the mix just to do that. I usually don't salt it until the very end. That way people can uh, get the desired amount that they like, because I usually don't like too much salt on my food, but that should do well. <clears throat> but I'll go ahead and stir this up just to make sure everything's cooking evenly, and it is. Um, it's turning out really well. So when these carrots are done, that's probably when the stew's gonna be done. That's the what takes the long for the, for the stew. The beef will tenderize with it. As you can see, everything's making a nice juice for it uh, to the, for the soup consistency of a, of a stew, and it's turning out really well. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and throw the cover back on and uh, I'll put some more coals on leave it on for another hour. Okay, I pulled off uh, <clears throat> some of the coals off the top. We're about 15 minutes from being done. I don't wanna really want to <clears throat> cook from the top anymore. I'm just getting, letting it do a little simmer from the bottom. And uh, we'll pull this off here in a minute and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, we about hit two hours on here. And the last uh, batch is done. I scraped the coals off uh, before I uh, opened it up. And we'll check that out. We got steam out. Oh yeah, that is. That looks fantastic. It's done. Um, <clears throat> honey, you want to grab out a carrot out of there, one of the big ones, and see if it's tender. Now that's our judge of <clears throat> whether it's done or not. It's going to be hot. So. Tender. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's hot. Okay. So we'll go ahead and pull this off and we'll let it cool for about 15, 20 minutes and uh, we'll bring it inside and we'll have some dinner. So some uh, cowboy stew. I'll show you guys a, a final product in a bowl here in a minute. Yeah. And, yeah pretty good. So that, that cut in half pretty easily. There you go. All right. So uh, we'll come back in about 15 minutes and uh, when it's done and we'll uh, show serve it up. All right, we got this inside. It's cooled down for a bit. It's still pretty hot, but I'm gonna serve this up. Just get a ladle here. Put it in, and I need a spoon. Do a spoon, and we'll give her a quick taste test and make sure she's tender. But uh, as you can see. Uh, everything is is done. It's everything's uh, blended well, pretty uh, pretty well together. Looks like it's gonna be a pretty good stew. So it's gonna be hot, but I'll give her a taste test here. Oh yeah, that meat is fall apart tender. So uh, you that I I got two of those big uh, round top steaks. They were a dollar fifty a piece, so you know three bucks for all that beef, and it's completely tender, just like any other cut you'd get. And you can spend very little money on it and have a very good outcome. So uh, go ahead and give this one a try. I think you guys will like it. Thanks for watching.